Hi everyone, this is Chester, and today I'm going to talk about my thesis project, a card trading company that I started on this April. Sports card is a kind of trading card, and basically it is cards with players of different sports on it. So as you may see here, this is a Michael Jordan card. Card grading company is a third-party organization who grades the card from the scale one to ten, based on the condition of the card. After the grading process. They will fill the card in a protective plastic case with a label above it. I have been collecting cards for over ten years right now, so before this business, this is also my hobby. Here are some of the ideation process of this project, or we can say、um, the main reason why I think this is a promising business for me to start. The first reason is that、uh, the number of collectors are increasing in China. According to the report issued by eBay, you can see that the sales of cards in China has increased over two hundred percent in just one year. And given the population of China, I think the number will still increase. The second reason is that there is not a lot of China-based grading company. And the third reason, which is also one of the biggest reasons, is that. Uh, the high grading fee and long turnaround time of United States-based、uh, company, so the average cost、uh, of the service is around one fifty to three hundred dollars for a single card, and that and the turnaround time is around somewhere between six months to fourteen months, so which is very expensive, and you still need to wait for a long time. Yeah, and so this is why I decided to start my own business. So next, I will talk about、uh, the prototypes process, prototyping process of this business, and how it is related to the integrated digital media. I'll first talk about the designing process. This is the logo of the company that I designed. The company is called Long Collectible Grading. The word "long" means dragon in Chinese, and、uh, dragon is a godlike creature that is loved by Chinese people. I used the initial letter of collectible and grading, so which are G and C, as the body part of the dragon. And lastly, I added a card in the center of the logo, representing a card is encapsulated in a case. And later, I used this logo for the card label design. I decided to use different color borders to represent cards with different scores. And then we have the case design. So here is a three D model which I created by using Maya. And later, this file was used to build something called plastic injection mold. So basically, the machine injects melted plastic into this mold, and after the plastic got cooled down and solidified,、uh, you and then I can you will get the final product. So in this case,、uh, I can get、uh, the case. After I launched、uh, the service, there were not many orders, and the most directly evaluative research or fig or feedbacks I got are directly from the customers. And some of the some of them said the label looks very low ended,、uh, the quality、uh, of the case is pretty good, or they don't like the logo. So these are some of the real feedback I got from my customers from Taobao or direct message. Here you can you can hear、uh, you can you can see、uh, there are some screenshots of the review from Taobao. So basically, it is like Amazon, right? So after you purchase something from Amazon, you can leave a leave a review under the under the the item. And this is also when I decided to redesign the card label and launched the DIY label. I think the DIY label really. Helped me here、uh, with uh, uh, help me out in terms of、uh, letting more Chinese collectors aware of my grading business. So after I designed the card label in Illustrator, I will use a UV printer to print out the label. Unlike the printing machine that we use in our home and library, a UV printer uses ultraviolet light to dry out the ink, so that it can print on most of the surface of different materials. Here you can see this is how UV printer works. It is actually printing a label right now in this video. By the end of October, 
I have received over 400 plus orders and have graded over 2,000 cards, which is way more than I can handle right now. So in order to bring up the efficiency of the grading system, this so uh, uh, this become my priority right now. So after analyzing each and every stage of the grading process, I found out communication cost is actually way more than I was thinking. This is why I decided to create an online submission platform in WeChat so that the customers can enter all information we need before they place the order. And after the payment, I can receive a message showing me everything I need to know, including grading types, number of cards, images, and the returning address. The beta version of the platform has been already uploaded to WeChat, and let me open it right now. So as you may see, this is the main page of WeChat. When you scroll down the page, you can see a lot of different mini programs, which are also embedded in WeChat. And this is also where you can open my platform. So here, this is uh, the beta version of the platform, and this is the main page. I developed this platform in Chinese because uh, I think most of the users of this app will be Chinese. The four icon from left to right uh, mean, uh, means uh, start a submission, order status, my wallet, and card database. So by pressing the first icon, you can start a submission. And first, you need to read the agreement and press agree to go to the next page. And this is where you can add your card. And all you need to do is to press the orange plus button in the middle of the part. The first thing you need to decide here is what types of grading are your service do you want to have? Because you can choose between DIY grading or the regular grading. And the next thing you need to choose is the turnaround time. So basically, if you want to get your card back quicker, you can spend more. You can, you can pay more money to uh, to achieve that, right? And the third information you need to enter is the number of card you are send, you're, you're sending. And lastly, you need to upload an image of the card you are sending by simply taking a photo or uploading it from the photo album. And this is a shopping cart page. You can edit, delete, or add items in this page before going uh, to the next actual payment page. So here you can double check the item you are purchasing and also edit or change your address. You can also see the total price of this order on the lower right corner. After the payment, this page will show up which said uh, we received your payment and we'll also provide you with the address of the company because the customers still need to send their card to us. And after the payment, user can check the order status by simply press the order detail here in the main page. And there are basically six uh, stages uh, during the entire grading process, and I will go over each of them quickly. The first one means payment received and waiting buyers to ship out their card. The second stage means the buyer have already sent out the package. The third stage means we have received the package and it is in our storage room right now. The fourth stage means the card is under the process of grading or designing. And the fifth stage means the card has been graded and capitulated, and we are uploading the information to the database. Lastly, which is also the final stage, uh, means we have shipped out the cards, and of course we will provide the customers with the tracking numbers. So by developing this program, I believe I'm able to reduce the communication cost for both sides, right? So for the customer side and also for, for the company side. So yeah, this is basically my CSS project. Uh, thanks for watching and listening.